Afternoon folks, it's the 17th of January 2022, uh, we're in Lloyd's Coppice, Maybury Telford, we've just come through the gate down the bottom there, with Diane and Benji, and this is our second walk video of the day, so unfortunately the battery on the GoPro has died and um, I thought it was fully charged but obviously not anyway I'm doing it on my phone so you'll have to forgive any bad shakes or anything Right. Now, again, as I keep saying nowadays, because I've walked more or less everywhere around our local area, um, I have been here before, done a few videos, but I uh, haven't been down this way for a while, so I thought... Why not do a walk through? Come on, Dave. And the good thing about this, this walk through here, it's mostly flat for Diane, so. Oh, that's not too bad. And she doesn't walk that far nowadays. Uh, she'll still do two and a half miles when she wants to. But uh, this won't be too bad because previous to this, we did a, had a drink down by the river. Oh yeah, you all right? Hi. Oh, not bad. So she had a, about a 15 minute, maybe half hour stop. I'm not sure how long we was down there for, to be honest. So it's not pushing her too much, basically. Bit squidgy. There's another reason for doing this uh, video as well today. Um, I was talking to someone a couple of days back. Oh, who was it? Oh, anyway, not sure now. And they was saying they'd never seen the ice house, which is in the coppice here. And uh, she can't walk very far. Nowadays, so I thought I'd do a video and she'll be able to see it then. Yeah? Well, Benji's seen a squirrel. <laughs> Benj! Benji! They're always quicker than them. If 
thing is, he gets confused. <laughs> he says, where are they gone? Once they've gone up the trees. I did a video up there a while back. Yeah. I was down by the river earlier, like I said in a previous video. And we had a cup of coffee. And I had a rest and what have you. I hope he don't go down there. Oh, he's in front, so... I was going to say, I hope he don't go down there because it's some stinky water down there. Bench. Got ya. Die. Die on. <laughs> when she wants to be, she's a little poser for the camera. There's been a couple of times when I've been walking through here and I've gone off the track a bit, which is interesting. Because it goes quite a distance over that way to what they call the Red Cliffs.
Come on, ducks. You know, it's. Uh, I get annoyed with myself at times. You know, but I mean, like forgetting my spare battery or not checking how much charger is in things, you know. Come on, mate, this way. Excuse me, finger, then. She is, look, my little lady. And there he is, look, having a sniff and a chew of the long grass. Here he comes, look, look at him, loony dog. Dee 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 dee. Excuse the finger again. Down that way, there's the remains of an old uh, engine house. Like I've said, folks, you'll have to excuse any excessive wobbling 
that uh, you might see on the video because ooh, ooh. <laughs> as you can see I'm holding it in the hand Set of steps here on the left, which take you up and out of the coppice. Take you up towards Blissdale and Coalport, and you can also get up towards. Lee's farm up that way. And the Lloyd's Coppice Ridge Path. Right now, in the undergrowth here, on the left of me, there's some uh, brickwork. Um, but I did here. There was uh, there was some cottages in here at one time, but I'm not sure which part they was in. But also. Back in the day, the Abraham, the, sorry, not the Abraham Darby family, the um, Anstos family, sorry, lived here, and they lived in a big mansion type house called Maidley Wood Hall. So I'm never sure if that's actually part of the remains of that. I'll just take you and show you some of the brickwork I'm on about. You've got to be careful if you're walking across here, look. There's a big hole there. Scraped all my shins and I fall down into one day. See, there's some steps there. And some of the brickwork in there, look. And they are walking all over bricks here. But there you go. And it carries on in the undergrowth over that direction. Go on, bench. Diane says I'm not clambering through all that. Bless her.
we go going back onto the path. That makes me think um, that brickwork there is part of the old hall because not far from here is the old ice house. Just around the corner here. So there's another set of steps there which take him more or less the same place as the other ones. Oh no, we loop round on ourselves if we go up, up here, it comes round, round the back of these bushes and to the ice house. Right. So here we go. Here's the ice house. There. Oh, way up. Good save. I almost went. It's nice and clean in here for a change. There's normally been fires in here, there has, well there has been a bit of a fire but nothing much by the look of it. But uh, homeless people use it to sleep in occasionally. And me and my son Tom have done a couple of outdoor cooking videos down here in previous videos. Yeah. Big old thing, the ice house was the olden day version of the uh, fridge freezer. See now, I'm not sure about this lot here. Was the house over in this area, like I say? But I don't think the ice house was joined on to the houses, if I'm right. I'm not sure. But there isn't many photos of the place in one piece, as is. So... When I haven't got the dogs with me, I'll have a good mooch about round here. Right then, folks. That is Lloyd's Coppice. In Mabel Telford. And that there in front of us is the ice house. So that's it for this one, folks. I'm going to say bye for now. Take care. Stay safe. And I'll see you again soon in another video.